Carolina, App State, Austin Peay, it doesn't matter who we play. We just kind of focus on us and get our mind clear because we playing ourselves at the end of the day. What are you seeing in Jake that's different from even when last season ended? How have you seen Jake improve even since the championship game? He's definitely stepping up more as a leader, more his quarterback is in his position. He got competition, so he's, he's just buying into it. But of course, Jake's going to be Jake, and that's all we need. People talked about how well he handled the huddle with him as a freshman. How has he stepped up from that? Just more outspoken, more talkative to people, trying to get our minds right before the play. Uh, when he does his job, then everybody's going to be on the same page. Me and him, we just get on the same page, and we know the offense going to rock well. How well, excited are you to see, like, players that have never played before on Saturday, whether it be a Tyson Campbell or whether it be Hayes on the defensive front. I mean, how excited are you about these first-time Georgia guys that are going to be out there Saturday? I'm excited for all of them. It just shows that what what they got, just want to see what they got and who, what they can bring to the team. That's going to make us better, and I'm excited to see what they can do because I'm going to be excited if whoever makes a play. Going against the D-line every day in practice, what, have been, what are some of your impressions of them, their improvement over fall camp? Definitely them stepping up. We had a lot of guys that left last year from John John stepping up from the inside. We got Julian now might be playing all hard and Jay Hayes coming in and wanting to play. So they brought a lot of competition. It's just making our OL better. Lamont, do you remember when you switched to offensive line? Like was it a meeting you had with the coaches or did it happen like practice before practice? Uh, it happened a few years back, um, just me talking to some of the head coaches and some of the coaches that was here, just getting me on the field. That's all I was. Your second year? I believe so. Did you appreciate at the time that this was? I just wanted career. to play. I didn't care what position I played on the field, who, what side of the ball. As long as I got on the field and contributed to this team, that's all that mattered. How much had you played in high school? I played every game. In O-line? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Did you play any center? No, not at all. Did you? There's people talking about you as being all SEC guys. You could say one of like mm -hmm. up, nationally. Like, could you have imagined kind of settling in this well when you made that switch when you just wanted to play? Not at all. But it's just a blessing. It's just what comes with the job. And if you want to be the best, then you gotta set the set the accolades that come with it. But it's have just you, an honor. Have you studied anybody? Did you have you talked to anybody like to to really? Learn the position. I mean, obviously, I guess Brandon. I had Boss Andrews and and Randy Cabana who was there to help me learn the position. They taught me a lot. Plus, I learned and watched film from old guys from like Mike Pouncey or anybody just to like get my game right. How much Boss? Like in person, over phone? Over the phone, what? in person doesn't really matter. He just was out. He was outstanding to reach out to me. Patriots love those Georgia linemen. You ready? Whoever fix me up, I'll be ready. <laughs> I don't think uh, uh, it really occurred to me until, until Coach Cheney verbalized it that, that, that Jake took over 900 snaps as the, as the quarterback for Georgia last year. That's a lot That's of stuff. experience. Is it? I mean, is it possible for him to get better? I mean, what what have you seen from Jake that makes you think that he could be better than even last year? Just him going out and working every day is making him better. You only can get better every day of you working. So him being him is just outstanding. And he shows leadership. That's brought another plus to his game. So whatever he contributes to do every day, then we're going to follow behind him and let him lead us away. How would you describe kind of his style of play, you know? What, what, what just kind of says Jay? Comfortable. comfortable, more like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, whoever you can think of that type of quarterback. He knows how to carry the game time, everything, you know, has to do well. So it's, it's great for him. Looking back a year ago, where do you feel like the offensive line is now compared to back then with, you know, the new additions? We had a great offensive line back then, but just what we got now is more of a savage look. We just ready to ball. We just want to play. We're ready to get to our goal, which is the championship. Do you think that's mainly because of you guys have just have more experience or because of the new freshmen that are here? Experience, of course, and the guys that's coming in to play, they ready to play. It's just what Coach Smart fed into us that we just want to be that O-line, that gritty O-line. That's what we need to be, whoever's on the field. Is there a, a, you know, certainly compared to this offensive line, you're smaller in stature, so is so is Ben, so is uh, Ball, so most of those guys. In line. Is it, but Jamari, I know, is working there and some other guys. Is there something that, that you need to be a little bit 
smaller and squattier to be a good center, or, or can you play that at 350 pounds? You know what I mean? I don't really think the size really matters to me. I'm 310, 6'2", it doesn't really matter. I can play well. It's about to take me from the game that you bring with it, so that's all. Lamont, it's a new season, but what do you take away from that national championship loss, bring it into this season, and let it go? Oh, it's just we got to move on. It happened, so now we just got to move on and get better each and every day because we want to get back. That's our goal, so we can't let it hold on to us. We just got to make it a motivation. Getting back to the next